Uh, with your permission, Your Excellency, I have the request to remain upstanding for the opening prayer by the Reverend Elias. In national development. Thus, the NYS, the new NYS was launched in September to adequately address corporate governance in the in the service. Consequently, on our training the members and taking commercial we are speaking into a nation where the youth is in shambles, where the youth is out there in the streets without jobs, some are skilled of course, others are not Others are, uh, are in drugs, in alcohol, and it is our responsibility as a people who have been endowed with Mara Campus to redirect our youth so that they can be aligned with their destinies. And it is my prayer that all of us will now wake up and do what we must do before we lose a generation. In my office, uh, we, have, uh, we have envisioned uh, a dignified future, that is our vision, a dignified future for the vulnerable populations. And these vulnerable populations include the boy child, that is the main pillar, then there are the widows, the orphans, people who are differently abled, and of course the chaplinacy and family values. Though culturally, we have a big issue that we need to take up and change where a boy is put out there as a head and they are told not to cry not to show emotions never to talk never to do this they only know who, never what to do but they don't actually know what to do the girl child on the other side because of her nature and, and how dedicated they are they are all taken call care by the parents by the communities affirmative action and everything so we have brought up a girl that is sophisticated a very professional woman but i'm asking myself as a mother who is going to marry them And if you are to address the security of a nation, there is no way you are going to neglect the question of the boy child. The ones who are being radicalized are the boy children more than the girl child. And therefore, if we are going to address security of this nation, even the nations of the world, we must address the boy question. These uh, farms that you have, I'm sure there is something we can do with them. Because there is a lot of uh, idol, <laughs> there is a lot of idol lying assets of the National Youth Service that there is a lot we can do. And even bring more people, so, uh, more of this youth to be useful in this nation. God bless you. If we have to combat this, uh, this animal of uh, drug addiction and the, f and, and the youth that is lost, it will require both the clergy and it will also require the medics and every person of goodwill. And I can tell you the government of the Republic of Kenya is willing. We know as a nation Youths are the greatest potential, the drivers of our economy. And if we leave them out, we are, not, we are likely to remain stagnated where we are. You can see the economy of Kenya the way it is. It's because the participation, the innovation of youth, the creativity of youth it has been left out. And therefore, I'm going to call upon you that as we are pulling together and bringing youth to where they are supposed to be, that you will help me to do it. We have about 9.5 million uh, 
uh, youth between the ages of 18 to 35, if you like, by definition of the youth, 9.5 million that are in the need, not in education, in employment, and on training. I'm excited because what we have been fighting for for the last four years, the bottom up, the bottom up, not bottom up, <laughs> the bottom up approach to the problem of youth, uh, Her Excellency, uh, has 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 made it today. Today is the most exciting day. Uh, she has given us. Her, can you imagine 21 days to ensure that uh, we start a. Uh, a pilot project within five districts. Uh, and therefore, to me, this is the greatest news that would have come. And therefore, I can see 2023 will be a great year for NYS, uh, a very great year for NYS.